Hello, darlings. Happy bloody Monday. Welcome to a brand new week on the channel. And welcome to Let's Build the World. Now, this is the third part of the Pancake House. I was going to release the kind of winner overview for my build challenge, but I'm actually going to be bringing that out tomorrow. Um, I've just I've had so many more builds to go through and I've just been having so much fun. So much fun looking through every single one of you, your guys creations. You are some talented buggers out there. You really are. So just give me a little bit more time and I'll get that video out tomorrow. So today we're going to play around a bit more with the exterior, a bit more detailing here and there, I think, along with the balconies. And then we might get in and do some, maybe the kitchen or the living room or something. So probably expect another couple of parts for the pancake house. Um, and yeah, then we'll go on to the next bit. That is what's going to be happening. It really is. Um, I'm alive. I had my 12 hour stream on Friday. It was brilliant. I had so much fun all day. So thank you to all of you that managed to make that stream. It was just so much fun. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I've got a verified tick now on my YouTube channel. I saw it this morning and I was just, I let out a little squeak, a little squeak of just glee, to be honest with you. Yes. Yes, I did. Um, Lots of things coming on the channel this week. I'll probably go a bit more into that tomorrow. So yes, I'm just going to leave it there. Let's get in. Let's start building a bit more on the pancake house. Here we go. So then you beautiful buggers, here we are. We are back at the pancake house. What I've done is I've put the flooring on. I haven't chosen the wallpapers yet. I think we're going to do that kind of room by room. We need to remember this house kind of got modernized over time. Well, it got modernized when they got a bit more money in the bank, to be honest with you. Um, so I really want the house to be kind of not contemporary, but a little bit more of a rustic modern, we're going to call it. That is the mantra of today. OK, I'm just going to knock out these fireplaces and maybe just choose some fireplaces Why we are here. I think maybe the best fireplace to use would be that lovely, this one here from Parenthood. I think this one would match in very well. We'll stick with the white for the minute. That might change. That might change indeed. And then I'll put some nice little tiles just underneath of it. Yes, I will. Indeed. How are you all? I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. I really do. I had a really nice chilled weekend, um, especially on Saturday, because I was a little bit hungover from that. <laughs> I just spat everywhere. From that 12 hour stream. I was a little bit drunk. <laughs> I won't lie. I was a little bit drunk. Um, <laughs> uh, but I had so much fun. It was such a laugh. We had an absolute scream. I'll keep the wallpaper free from there for the minute until we've actually chosen the wallpapers that were going in there. Um, or in fact, do you know what? Maybe we could use this indoors because that would look... Oh, that does look nice. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't think... I think I'm just doing it on those... The breasts. I'll just do it on the actual breast behind the chimney breast. Um, yes, that's what we're going to do today. Uh, yeah, and then on Sunday, me and Tom just went for a nice big walk. We, I think we walked about five miles. It was lovely. In the woods. Um, and I, we found this, like, amazing rope swing as well. And um, I, I was said to Tom, can you, like, t oh, take a nice photo of me? Me thinking it was going to be all, like, aesthetic, like, like all romantically on a, a rope swing. Um, I'll insert the photo that was taken. Now that, my loves, is not an aesthetic photo at all. Tom's like one of these people that is not... I wouldn't say he's not creative. He's just not got the eye for things, you know? So that was the only shot that he took. <laughs> Me, including a slow-mo video. Um... So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be asking Tom anytime soon to take any photos of me. Not at all. Not at, in the slightest. <gasps> I kind of want to add a hot tub. Is that? Oh, that's a little bit too big here. Yeah, I kind of want to add a hot tub in. We haven't got room, sweeties. Oh, they strike me as a hot tub couple. You know? Well, like, that's not going to go there. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. Maybe I could put it, get rid of that tree and put it there. Next. No, I want a tree there. No, screw it. They're not having a hot tub. It's Eliza Pancakes. Who are we worrying about, for goodness sake? <laughs> um, 
but yes, um, that was my weekend. That was my weekend. And we just sat around, watched loads of films, ate loads of rubbish. I had a McDonald's in the first time in about two years. Um, and I felt like shit after I'd eaten it. Um, and I remember why I don't have any kind of fast food. Because I just feel fucking shit after I've eaten them. I'm not for that. I'm not for that lifestyle. <laughs> as nice as it was on a hangover to have that. Yeah, I won't be repeating that anytime soon. Not at all. Because let's say me and the toilet bowl were good friends that day, darling. <laughs> Bit TMI there. But when is it not too much in this channel, to be honest with you, you know? Right, we're going to get a couple of, like, decorations. As I said, with this lot, I don't want it to be overly decorated. If you can hear drilling or anything at the minute, my new neighbours have just moved in and they are renovating their house. Um, so I have to apologise. You probably won't be able to hear them. But just in case you can, if you hear weird noises in the background, that is the reasons why they are drilling through the walls. And I can't... I'm not going to say anything. I'm not one of those Karens. We've been doing it for years. So good luck to them, my loves. I hope they I hope they have an absolute ball doing it. What am I getting that out for? No reason whatsoever. So yeah, what we're going to do is just go around the lot, place in some more little bits of landscaping, just a few more little details here and there. Nothing too much. As I said, I don't want this lot to be overly decorated. I do want it to be kind of bare, kind of new. Not lifeless as such, but just, you know, kind of basic a bit like eliza herself you know so that is what we're going to do today yes we are okay so the lighting we need some outdoor lighting we need some of those little sorcery lights that you plonk down by the trees oh I like these ones right let me um get you into that mode i'm gonna pop a couple underneath this tree or maybe just one actually where's that where's the oh no there wasn't a wall there it's because <laughs> i was like why didn't i put a wall there because Bob's man caves here. Bob's, I love the way that you all thought, um, you all liked my use of Bob's baggy bum hole. You're welcome, you know? And I say like, a lot of you didn't like that. <laughs> I think it was more along the lines of, oh, Hayden. <laughs> what can I say? I'm like an embarrassing mum for you lot, you know? I've, I've got to embarrass you. I've got to embarrass you, darlings, haven't I? Yes, yes, I do. I do want to get a couple of these down here, but would they look weird there? They kind of would. If I hid them away here, they won't. If I did that and that there, like that. that should, yeah, that's fine. Just hiding them away. Oh, yes. And Bob does need a light in his man cave, though. He doesn't have a light in his man cave. So maybe just some floor lit ones. That could be quite nice, actually. It's, it's modern, isn't it? You know? So I might just add in a couple of floor ones there, there and there. And maybe one on the other sides of the TV here and here as well. Let me see that. And then outdoors here, I'll actually do a little saucer light just here. I'll slice it down one just so it brightens it. Oh, stunning. Yes, that's what I wanted. If this all works, by the way, I had Bob test it. He was loving it. He was sitting with, you probably saw that in the last thumbnail. He was sitting in his dressing gown having a cup of tea. He was having a lovely time. I say cup of tea, he wasn't doing it. He was reading a book, but you know. I'll bring these storylines to life somehow, darlings. Um, I might add a couple here as well. Or one by each box here. That could be cute. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit better. That gave a bit more... I would imagine Bob... I would imagine Bob and Lacey having a bit of a um, play around with the basketballs. Blue's farted from the, over, the other side of my office and it drifts its way over to me. I swear to God. Oh, God, that stings... Oh, God, Blue. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I had to I had to hold the recording for a second there. It was that bad. I had to hold the recording. Oh, my life. Oh, my life. It's all that raw meat he gets eating. It really is. Now, you probably heard him snorting then. That wasn't him farting. Now, this is... I'm going to do Eliza like a little desk here considering her job and stuff she'll need a desk so I thought I'd make this into like a more of a hallway office moment that's got access out onto the balcony so we can fit a desk in with a chair and stuff for Eliza um I think that's the only way to go there it is right we're gonna make a start on the balconies anyway or the verandas we're gonna call them so I think here a doormat would look lovely a plant up by there as well um 
Door mat in question. Again, we're going for semi-modern, so it kind of needs to have a modern vibe to it, really. What tones do you come in? Um, You're not filling me with hope, actually. Oh, maybe some, like, yeah, maybe these in, like, a dark grey. Maybe these in a dark grey. We're definitely going to be using colour in here. We're going to play around with the palette indoors as well. It's not going to be all very... It's going to be a light interior because of the aesthetic I want to go for. But um, I'm going to go for a bit more, like, pops of colour here and there. I definitely think that would that would work. And a nice kitchen. I might make the kitchen look kind of semi... Um, kind of commercial because of Bob. I think having, like, a stainless steel kitchen or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see when we get in there. But yes, those are the vibes that we're going for, loves, for today. Yes, it is indeed. So, a little plant out here. What would I... I would imagine flowers being Eliza. So maybe I could use this, but size it down somewhat, because it is quite large, this one. I mean, I don't mind that. Just a hint of blue. Oh, I could put you there, actually. I was going to put one in this corner, but I might put it there instead. Oh, yeah, I kind of like that. Is that creeping through? It is slightly. I'll pull it out slightly more. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, obviously we've had some developments on the latest from EA with these, are they called kit packs or something? Um, and a couple of people have asked my opinion on them. Um, <sighs> I don't know until we get them until I don't know if game changers are getting them for free or are we buying them? Um, I don't mind either way. I will buy them so I can kind of have a look at them for you guys if that is the case. But to be honest with you, did we really need that? I'm, I don't think that we did. That could have been something that they added into a pack. Um, maybe it's giving more people opportunity who haven't got enough money for stuff packs, etc. To buy something a little bit smaller to add something into the game. I don't know the reasonings behind it. We we did not know this was coming. Well, myself as a game changer had no idea that this was happening. Um, so it's a brand new thing. A brand new thing. Come, it reminds me of a little bit of like the Sims 3 store stuff. And I never really bought any of the Sims 3 store stuff. Um, I bought a few things from there. But I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. To be honest with you, is it another cash grab from EA? Pff, more than likely. Um... But saying that, can I make that or say that without having played with it and had a look at it? But from what I can see, if I'm going to be paying £5 for a couple of hoovers to be put in the game, do I really need that being a builder? No, no, not really. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it yet. I know the community are kind of up in the air about it at the minute. And feel free to share your opinions in the comments. But remember, remain respective. You guys all know that by now. Um, don't be calling out like gurus or anything. This is nothing to do with them. They're just the developers. Um, so, yes, I'm just a bit weirded out from it, to be honest with you. I won't lie. I think it's a little bit odd. I think it's odd, to be honest. And I don't know where this came from. This just came out of the blue. And, um, yeah, I'm not for it. <laughs> not for it yet, anyway. I might change my mind, but £5 for a couple of hoovers in the game. Now nah, you're all right, darling. You can keep your hoovers as far as I'm concerned. Because <laughs> that is not for me. That is not for me. Now, I know we've got a mailbox there, but I kind of wanted to add a little one there. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe a wind chime. <gasps> oh, yes. A wind chime. Is it in activities and skills? Oh, crap. Let me go and grab them. Yeah, here they are. Look. A couple of wind... Oh, just a nice wind. Maybe not the bamboo ones. I'd probably see them more of a... Aluminium. Aluminium. That is right, Americans. It is aluminium. <laughs> can I not change? I was about to say, can I not change that? Yeah, we'll add a little cheeky wind chime up there. Oh, very nice. Couple of seats. Not that I would imagine they would come out here much because they don't get along. <laughs> or maybe they do. Maybe they come and sit out here separately or something. Um. So, decorations up to what do I want to put up there? I can hear the drill in the background. And it's coming through my recording because I just heard it in my ears. Um, so, great. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm joking. They need to get on. They need to do their, their bits and bobs, don't they? Um, okay. Again, I, as I said, I don't want to overly do this place. But I think that's enough for me. A couple of, a couple of plants. A nice little citrus tree. Those director chairs, I think, look nice out here. Yeah. All in all, that's fine. Let's move on to the back. So... 
I do want to do some kind of like family seating. Um, not necessarily a bar. Oh, I would imagine he would want a barbecue though. In fact, you know what I'm going to do down here? I'm going to do a barbecue area down here rather than putting planters there. Bob's the chef, you know, he'd be all about having a barbecue. Um, and we're going to add one of the big boys in as well. I'm going to add one of the big boys in. Uh, what colour though? Oh, that one was not too bad. Yeah, we'll do that one. We'll pop you there, love. There you go. And then I'll do a couple of counters next to it as well. So, oh, nope. Kitchen counters, please. And maybe these ones would match in okay with it. Yeah, they do look. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's a bit... Um, I can do you to like there and then do a small corner piece. And I'll put a sink on that one. And then I'll do a small little corner piece there. No, 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 no. Am I using the wrong one there? No. What are you doing? Stop it. I've had enough of your lip today. Where's the little corner piece? Where's like the end piece? I mean... Oh, really? Why are you going up there? I know there's a foundation there. I don't need to answer that. But stop it. For goodness sake, I just want you to just slide right in filth there. Stop it. Oh, I hate you. That's, I know that's not the end piece, but that one would look a little bit better. Yeah, it's going to glitch out if I do that though, isn't it? Oh, one sec. There we go. It's got that weird little thing there, but that's just going to have to stay. That's just going to have to stay. And then I'll put a little sink just on top here. Oh, just a normal little wonder. Yeah, that will do. Yeah. Nice little sink there. Now, I do need to get an outside bin out here as well. Um, but I'll probably maybe put this over on this side. Mm, that's right next to Bob's man cave, though. He's already got a stinking man cave. We can't... <laughs> Joking. Bob's man cave smells delicious, by the way, if you wanted. <laughs> no. Oh, Aiden, for goodness sake. It's getting sickening. It really is. Should be ashamed. <laughs> Anyway, so I did want to add up a little family seating area that doesn't get used by the family together, maybe separately. And um, so I think, oh, and do you know what? I might add a picnic bench instead, actually. Yeah, I think we'll add a picnic bench in instead. Just a nice generic stone, not stone, wooden picnic bench. Um, uh, maybe not you. What about the one from Snowy Escape? That's a bit rustic looking, though. I want it to look a little bit more modern than that. Yeah, like this. That was the... What one did I just use? Oh, that was the Star Wars one. Very silly of me. Oh, oh, yeah. This one here would do. Yeah. If I can plonk you to about there. There we go. Lovely. Yes. Yes, that's nice. Okay. And then another little plant here as well. Um, Maybe something like... Oh, in fact, maybe... No, no, no. I was just about to say maybe like a... Um, vertical planter, but I'm not going to add a vertical planter in. We need to get some more kind of New Orleans-esque sort of like foliage. So maybe a few of these plants here would look nice. Yep, we can do that. And then I'm going to put a nice little light on top of here. Yes, I am. Um, doo -doo -doo, where are you? I want to use the one from um, Outdoor Retreat. Is it not classed as that? Is it classed as a lamp? Oh, it's classed as a lamp. The more you know, you know? Now, the colours I remember being awful, but that's probably going to be the best fit, isn't it, really? Yes. Yeah, just something like that. And then maybe a nice little doormat here as well, which I'll probably go ahead and use the same one as we used out there. Nice little bamboo doormat. But I'll put this over two spaces just because we've got a double door going on here. Yes, we do indeed. Yeah. Yeah, cute. That's just added a bit more detail. That's all I wanted. Um... I don't know what we're going to do on that one there yet. This one here is kind of off of the main bit, um, the main hall or the main landing. So hmm, maybe just a couple of a couple of uh, like love seats. I think I'll do that. Maybe the wicker ones actually. Uh, comfort, comfort and joy. Um, and I might. Oh yeah, the white one, the white and grey looks good here. I mean, I could add one there and do another one on this side as well. Again, keeping it not too cluttered. I don't want too much detail in this build. I want to, it to reflect that just been renovated kind of vibe. Um, and again, we need to kind of stick with the New Orleans 
um, flower edge. So I do want to use these, but they are um, a little bit large. Maybe I could like stick. Nope, that's going to swamp that door. I'm going to put one there and then just shuffle this seat in some, I think. Let me see. Let me see this. You can go to about there and then you can come to about there. Let me see that. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's fine. And again here, a nice little plant here as well. Now, these have all got lighting. They've all got um, door lights up here. So, or wall lights, sorry. So they won't um, be struggling to get any light in. Oh, 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 yes. Yes, you will do there, my love. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of you. I'm going to bring the chair back in and balance it there. And I'm going to do one of these on each side underneath the lamps. Yes, I am. Yes, I am indeed. Oh, yeah, that looks cute. Yeah, I like that. I do. And then maybe just a little side table. <laughs> so, that's not, that doesn't make sense in The Sims 4, does it? Because none of them are little, are they? No. No is the answer to that. And you know how much that makes me fuming. I'm going to use these little glass ones. These look like little patio table, um, little patio tables anyway. So, yeah, I'm for it. Um, I'm going to bring that plant around here as well. You, my darling, come. Come hither. And then I'm going to just choose a better spot to the bottom. There we go for that. Plonk you there. Lovely. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy with the exterior now. Have we got time? Yeah, we've got loads of time. We've got loads of time. So I think what we'll do is start on the living room area. Okay. So I've put some wallpapers on. I've gone for this like leaf. I love this wallpaper. I think it's lovely. I've gone for like a leafy green number in the living area. We're going to use a nice pop of yellow with the sofas. Um, and then for the dining area, I've gone for more of a muted down version of the wallpaper, just so it blends through nicely. Put some curtains up as well, which I may copy the curtains over and put these in the dining area as well. Um, these are like, these are from Eco Lifestyle. They're so cheap as well. They're one of the cheapest curtains um, and they come in some great swatches. So that is what we're going to do there. Yes, we are. Um... Yeah, okay. Now I'm trying to figure out a layout for this place. I think what I'm going to do is put the TV above the fireplace in this house. Just so I can get a few extra chairs in here. Now I do want to get a bookcase in here as well. But I think these sofas just look really nice with this. I think the wood tone matches in with the floor nicely. And I like the yellow against the green as well. Obviously, as I said, we're going to play around with a bit of colour in this place. I think it's only right. It really is. I think a small console table... Do I want to put that? Mm, do I want to put it there or there? I think maybe here. Let's have a little, let's get into the rooms. Let's find a nice console table. Again, we're going for modern rustic. Well, not rustic as such. It's more modern. It is more modern, but it's got a traditional edge to it. So maybe I could. Oh, <laughs> yes, that is happening. <laughs> this, by the way, is from Peacemaker. It is in the game now. Um in the game as base game so if you've got base game you have now got this this was part of the sims 21st birthday kind of celebrations and look at these swatches oh do you want to go yellow oh maybe it's a bit much i liked the green then or that minty green oh that's a nice green in here as well so easily my favorite new console table in the game <laughs> i think it's gorgeous as is all peacemaker stuff so I think I'm going to add that one there. Oh, that looks smashing. Yes, it does. Do you want a mirror above that? Let's have a little look. See if we can get a mirror above it as well. Um, What kind of mirror? Oh, you would look great in here. So yeah, we're going for like a mid-century-esque vibe with this place. And I'm not going to be too precious about wood tones. But I do want them to blend slightly. Even though that's a little bit... There we go. That's better. So I do want them to kind of match in slightly but i don't mind the wood tones looking a little bit different it's fine yes that's nice yeah we'll plonk that there i think a plant belongs on top of it so i'll put a nice leafy boy on top of you there we go oh you i hate that this one doesn't have a snap point on it for the sides it's so annoying i bet that infuriated peacemaker not being able to put as many snap points as what he normally does on his objects <laughs> yeah we'll do that one there lovely Oh, I do enjoy that. I think up here I'll do a nice modern clock. 
Um, the only one we've got with the fit there, okay, would be this one. Oh, that colour's not too bad either, actually. So I'll use that one there. Stunning. I do want to get a coffee table, so I might just slide these back a little bit further. So I can maybe fit a coffee table in. Um, we've got enough space this way. It's just this way. I don't want to cramp that bit too much so they can still get here and use the drawers, even though they don't. It's we're just we're just going for realism, darlings. Yes, we are. I do want to do mid-century vibe with the table as well. Or do I want to go for the snowy escape one? Hmm. Let me see. Oh, I kind of prefer the snowy escape one in here. Now, I, ha I am going to have to shuffle it over this way because the Sims are very particular on how much room they've got so they can light the fire. So which probably would mean I'd have to shuffle these across a little bit more as well, which is not too bad, even though I did fancy putting a bookcase here. But I can always put a bookcase in this corner, so that's not too bad either, either. Either, either. Either, either. We'll just go with that. We'll go with that, either, either. Yeah, why not, you know? Slap your tits. I'll be done. Right, and then up here, little cheeky TV. We'll do it in there. So I won't put anything on the, uh, the fireplace itself. I'll just keep the TV. It's very high, the TV, but, you know, you've just got to deal with it sometimes. And then a nice rug. I think a plain rug would be the best way to go. So let me... Or maybe you would work in here. Because I know you've got a light as well. Oh, that's the perfect size. Oh, you have got a light as watch as well, haven't you, darling? Oh, oh I'm for it. So we've gone for like quite... Sort of like neutral tones with things. But with pops of colour here and there. And I'm liking it. Oh, I do like how this room feels. Yeah. Yeah. I think... Uh, not a floor. Oh, maybe a floor lamp there. Or maybe a floor lamp here. Yeah, we'll do a floor lamp on this side. And then on the other side or here, we'll do a side table with a lamp on it too. So I think the floor lamp, I think the tiny living one would look good in this room. Because we are kind of going for that mid-century-esque vibe in here. Yes, that looks nice there. I'm going to tilt it that way though. So I can put it a little bit more closer to the... To there. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, I do like that. I do like that. We maybe put a little photo up there or something. Um, Here definitely needs a bookcase. Definitely needs a bookcase here. And I think maybe... Should I do, do the Moschino one? That would look great there. Uh, or shall I go for the Seasons one? The Seasons one's nice as well. It's classic. But I don't really like the lighting on this. Something about the lighting on this... That really bugs me. It really does when you look at this, like, compared to it. Now, I think that's a little bit too contemporary. We need to go a little bit more classic. Um, But I just really don't like the, uh, the colours. Oh, it's very tight there. Very tight indeed, giggity. Hmm. Maybe I could just shuffle this down. Will they be able to get through there? Ugh, I don't like that. Let me see if I can just get this in even further. Just to give us a bit more room on that area. Let me see that. Yeah, that's a bit better. It's a bit tighter than what I wanted it to be. Giggity, giggity, goo. But I think we're going to go for it. Oh. Unless I just thought maybe we could use the snowy escape one. Oh, that's better. That's better, and it gives us a lot more room to play with then as well, which I'm all for. Yeah, that's nice. And that wood tone's perfect as well. Oh, well, there you go. You know, there you bloody have it, darlings. Oh, I'm for that when things work out nicely. Are you going to pick the right room? Just clicking on every room then to... um, Yes, find the side tables. Very silly. I think I'll get a matching side table with the... Uh, coffee table. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we're going to put a lamp on there. Now, mm, I don't know what lamp we're going to use. So, oh, maybe the bowling one. If it, oh God, I always remember the, this is why I never use this because I hate the swatches. That one's not too bad. That one fits the vibe. Yes, I'm kind of for that. And then I think in the middle here, I'm going to use the new plant that Harry made, um, which is gorgeous and arguably the best plant in game now to be honest with you where are you darling oh and there she is and i've picked that swatch as well i think that looks nice there 
Yeah, I like it. I do. I do enjoy it. And I think I'm going to do an armchair down here with a little table next to it. So, um, did we get a new armchair? I don't think we did. I don't think we got a new armchair with the base game update. So, so again, something a bit more contemporary. So maybe either the tiny... Oh, that one might... Oh, that one fits perfectly. Yes. We'll go for the tiny living one. I was going to... If... I was going to kind of... If or am between this one and the one from the paranormal pack. But I think that one there will suit the vibe nicely. And a little pile of books next to it. Um, So where are you, darlings? Just that base game pile of books on the floor, if you will. There they are. Come hither. Yeah, that swatch is fine. We'll put that down there. There we go. Nice. And I probably want to put a couple of sconces around. I don't know what sconces to use in here, though, because it is... I've used the, these kind of semi-contemporary lights up here. Um, so let me have a look. We'll go for the dine out ones, but I'll size them down quite a bit. Um, I'll do one here as well. And I'll do one on the other side there, too. Yes. Now, was that the wrong place to put that? It was. What I'm going to do is whiffle you around to here, darling, and put a, a picture up there. Um, and I think something semi... Not, oh yeah, maybe one. Oh yeah, maybe the leaf ones of this. Yes, we'll do two of them. I'll do you and you. Um, and I think lots of M's today, but that's just me. I can't help it. I can't help it. I've had so many people over the years saying, "Stop saying M." And to that, I say no. Shan't and won't, darling. Shan't and won't indeed. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And then I'm going to put a stereo on the floor, I think. Even though I don't love, like the stereos in The Sims 4. I think it'd be just nice to have a little stereo piece on the floor. Oh, that's a cute living room. I do like that. I do like that. Yes, I do. I'm for it, I tell you. Yes, okay. Well, let's move on to the dining room. We'll finish off with the dining room today. And then we'll come back tomorrow and do the kitchen. And we'll go upstairs and do the bedroom. So it might only be one more part after this. But I'll make, I'll make tomorrow's bit longer uh just to fit in with that fact now this is the kitchen this is the kitchen this is the diner so i'm going to use the new table and chairs from harry because it's only right so let's get base game on because it fills me with joy being able to see the icon on top of it oh the big one oh the big one's probably better actually for this room yes I do enjoy the big one. Oh, filth. Filth once again. But what what can you expect? What can look at these wood tones? Oh, I would say the Sims 4 could never. Well, they can't because Harry did it for them. <laughs> so I will I'll say the Sims 4 could never. I think I'm going to do for a white legs and a warm top to match him with the floor. Somewhat. Nice. That's beautiful. And the chairs as well. There they are beautiful chairs do i want to pop a bit of tone in with these maybe maybe not oh oh i do like that oh i do like that we could fill a bit more color in here with maybe a rug we could pop a bit of yellow in here with a rug oh yes let's do that we'll do six chairs i think that would be ample amount oh that looks nice yeah i like that we'll do six chairs and i'm going to try and find a decent yellow rug so wish me luck there we go. I'm going to use that one there, which is from City Living. I do love that rug and I like the size of it too. I went for one in the beginning, but it was just a little bit too small. Um, and I like the length of this one. It's nice. It kind of stop. Well, it doesn't stop the room from looking longer. It just balances the room because it is quite a long diner. Um, I'm for it. I actually quite like that. Now, I think we need a couple more sconces in here because the lighting is a little bit off around this area. So I'm going to add two in and put a mirror in between this, I think. Mirror in between that. I think in the corner there, we're going to do that little corner moment that came with cats and dogs. So let's get that flopping out, shall we? Yes, we will. Um, is it in there? There it is. In the white as well. I think that would just suit being in that corner. Oh, it does. I love that. Um, and then a nice mirror up here too. So let's flop a mirror up there as well. Let's get rid of you, darling. And maybe just use the one from Seasons. But I'll just use it in a plain silver. That will kind of carry that vibe in. That That's not balanced. Let's get you balanced, my love. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Do I want to do a console table there as well? 
maybe let's try let's try and see if we can slip one in filth oh the filth's out in full force today isn't it darling slip one in there oh I, I like it but it's making it tight around there why is everything filth today i may have to drag this over i don't really want to do that but i think i'm going to just to make this walkway a little bit more accessible and yeah that still looks really nice that still looks really nice through there yeah i like that and then that gives me enough space there for that and i think what i'll do is i might actually put a couple just in case they get guests i'm gonna put a couple more chairs either side here as well just in case they get more guests and then they can slip them on the end of those tables like nobody's business oh i'm for it right what do we want to put up there maybe a statue of something let me see if i can find something we'll go for this this lovely little vase that came with island living yeah and i just think the colors marry in quite well there even though that the holes in it set off set off set off my trypophobia has anybody else got trypophobia out there small of um fear of small holes oh another filth another filth for you but um because <laughs> i have i don't know what it is i think i put it down to when yeah this plan would look good here when i was young when i was young it's not a time for a song Aiden. but when i was young my i used to go to my nan's chalet she lives well, they used to live right on the beach right on the beach in a beautiful chalet down in cornwall and you know the little holes that you see in the sand and like those horrible little things used to crawl out of it? Oh, that used to freak me out when I was younger. Um, So yeah, I put it down to that. I put it down to the fear of small holes. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what? I like this dining room as it is. I don't want to add anything else into it, I don't think. Yeah, it's nice. I like how this house is coming out. Just little pops of colour here and there, which we're going to do the same in the kitchen as well. I may try and pop a bit of red in the kitchen just to like sort of marry in with Bob's aesthetic. So, yes. So, yeah, that's what we've done today. We've managed to make a start on the interior. Finished off the exterior. Um, Just gave it a bit... Oh, God, look at that. Um, Just gave it a bit of a story, to be honest. You know? So that is what has happened. Okay, cool. As I said, tomorrow we'll come back. We'll do the kitchen. Uh, we'll do, I'll do the bathroom off of camera, obviously. Um, and we'll start in the bedrooms as well. So I may, like, furnish the hallways off of camera along with um, Eliza's kind of hallway uh, office and maybe this little area out here too. So we've just got three rooms to concentrate on tomorrow because we will have to move on to the sexy gardener this week, for goodness sake. Where is he going to be living anyway? I want him in a small lot, probably around here. Oh, in fact, I'm going to make the gardener in the other area so we still make him next but we'll go over to the other area and make the gardener this week um but yeah okay well there we go my darlings we're all done with the third part of the pancake house i'll be back uh, on wednesday with this i'll be back on wednesday with the final part of the pancake house um and tomorrow i'll be back obviously with the kind of winners and runners up overview video for the gorgeous build challenge I'm very much looking forward to seeing you guys see what this community has created as well. Don't worry, I'm going to show some photos of other creators as well, not just the ones that won. Um, so be on the lookouts for it. It's going to be a nice chilled video. I'm looking forward to making it properly. I really am. So yes, leave me some lovely comments. As always, I love hearing from you. I'm live on Twitch tonight, 7pm GMT. We're playing Little Nightmares 2. So if you want to come along and join us, you can. But if not, I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.